Once again, we're back. The new humble abode for now. Uh, shit, what's been going on, man? Yo, let me get to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wow. <laughs> Y'all ready to get to it? Sure. Um, as usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Shway. And I'm Channel Seven. Shout out to all the um, all the uh, 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 the listeners on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? To listen via Spotify, via Apple Podcasts, via Deezer, and um, wherever you listen to your podcasts. But uh, right now, you're in the place to be on YouTube. I want to know about the studio real quick. Mm. How'd it go? It was cool, you know what I'm saying? I did what I do, you know what I'm saying? I did what I do. I've been doing this a long time. Wow. Yo, yo, that was amazing. I did what I do. I do this. I do what I do. I do this. I do what I do. I do what I do. I do what I do. You go in the booth and you put the cape on and you out in 30 minutes, huh? I don't put no cape on. I just drop my voice. I drop my verse and I'm out. You know Whose what? verse did you drop for? No, nah, this was for uh, Dre Cobbs. He, he remixed in, um, the Stand Alive joint. He's doing another project. Shout out to Dre Cobbs. Shout out to Dre Cobbs. You re- mm-hmm. Wait, the, the mix is Stand Alive? Huh? The... Nah, <laughs> the video he did. <laughs> nah, he, he got the stamp. They got the stand alive. Was no job. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought he's got the, uh, the BG joint. <laughs> nah, man. That's not one, a... one take. No, I ain't nah, take nah. one. <laughs> I just wrote it like literally like two hours before I came. Man. Mm, I'm not hey. my zone like that. I used it used to be a time. Hey, that's kind of a flex. You trying to be, you trying to be yeah. fake humble, cause you like, yo, I wrote it before I got there. It only took me two hours. I'm you know, saying, I just, man, I just I did you... one of these. You know what I'm saying? Dude? I'm good. I'm saying, like, I had this shit done, and I didn't like it, so I scrapped it and just like, mm. like redid it. Real talk, man. Phrases that <laughs> no say bullshit. you like, phrases that say you like fake humble. Yo, <laughs> this is what I do. This is what I do is one. I'm you know what I'm saying? I do this. I also you know, I, it only kids. took me, it only took me this amount of time. That, that's all fake humble shit. Like I'm saying, I was watching the kids. I had dinner. You know, I still got right. Do even more. more. It's number no four. Play. Like you throwing it all in there, man. No, play, man. no, no, you're not. You for no, real? I'm, saying, I'm, I'm a rapper. I'm a goddamn rapper. See, that's, that's, a, fine. that's what I'm supposed to do. Like you know what I'm saying. Dude, you act like you're a, you're a professional. Like you come in, you do what you do, and that's it. Take one take, five takes, whatever. I mean, it'd be like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Like you never hear me say, "What am I good at hooping?" Like you never hear me say, "Man, I just came in and I bust their ass." Like I never <laughs> talk like, like that. I no, I that. never talk like that. I don't even go so far. I don't even go so far to say I've seen you do that, dude. Nah, I even praise, dude. You've done everything. You've done the whole, dude. You've done done everything, like. Yo, I only took two hours. All right. I mean, the spectrum. I mean, I've gone from literally one take. Zeke, am I wrong in this? But well, in gone... your case, in basketball, you come in with a uh, five two. I, I ain't even stretch. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> my shoes up. Right. I just. I only <laughs> nah, get two nah, percent. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Joe said it only took him a couple of hours to fucking write the rhymes, and he was done. <laughs> I'm just saying. Was, and just you get and you gave Cobbs, you know, productivity. Man, oh, you know what I mean? Man, I was, look, now this is you really was like, yo, Cobbs, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to do my rhymes, and that's it. And I'm out. Okay? And I'm yeah, out. Man, that, that's mad confidence, it's, yo. Well, yeah, I'm confident as a rapper. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I do what I do. Yeah, I'm <laughs> anyway, Kwame Brown. Yeah, Sorry, bro. I got off, I got off the rail. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to rant on Joe about that that <laughs> whole rap why. that go to the studio I do this <laughs> you know so, yo sorry shout out to uh, Cobbs you know what I'm saying indeed indeed what's what? up why, what, 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 like, what's the, the deal like what kicked it off well, I'm I know started I on the uh, all the smoke pod with uh, Genie Bus mm-hmm. when they said they traded uh, who they trade for uh, Pal it was Kwame, Kwame and somebody else. Kwame, um, 
I forgot who it was. But they was like, yeah, it was only then Steven Jackson. They were like, nah, it was only y'all only traded Powell for one player. Like they they was Shit, saying man. Kwame wasn't even the, worth the trade. Or mm. Okay. Like, nah, nah, y'all only traded for one player. And then when Gilbert was on the pod, uh, he brought up Kwame Brown, too, and they was talking about how uh, Jordan broke his confidence and all that. Mm -hmm. And Steven Jackson was like, oh, yeah, we brought him up on the last pod. You know, Matt, you were saying he was the, the greatest number one pick of all time. Like, making jokes no, about no, no, him and all that. <laughs> That's when he got mad after okay. that. That's when the disrespect started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he started going at everybody. I mean, he been going at everybody, yo. Like, I mean, everybody. Anybody that brought his name up after that, he's going at. Them. Which makes me think this is a publicity stunt, but yeah, Zeke. I said he coming out with a podcast. But you said no. <clears throat> he got. I, I didn't know he had a YouTube channel. That, like most of that stuff be on his YouTube. You know, he not uh, blue check. He not verified. It's, it's <laughs> he coming. Not? Oh yeah, no, yeah, he's not. Yeah, he, yeah, he got like a couple. He definitely on his way. A couple thousand followers after yeah, this. Yeah, he wasn't verified. The yeah, first day this beef happens, uh, I didn't know he was on IG or none of that. Yeah, he's not I verified. Really for a which brand. is crazy. Like he's an NBA player. Why isn't he blue check? But I saw what you call it said. Um, uh, um, all the smoke. Uh, Matt Barnes. I saw Bar Matt Barnes when he when he like shot back at him. He was like, "I see you got your." It was either thirty or three hundred thousand views. Mm -hmm. Like I see what you're trying to do. Like. <clears throat> um, so maybe it is, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe someone did come to a YouTube I, or something. I got a question for y'all in regards to that. So Paul Pierce, you know, lost his job for having women and scantily clad women and, and mm -hmm. weed around. Mm -hmm. So, like, Matt Barnes is hired by ESPN. Can you lose your job for saying, have your dick in your mouth? Because he said that about Kwame. Like, he, you know, he had, he said the whole bit of, yo, you've been saying my name. You, oh, you've been, no, he said, you've been having my dick in your mouth. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my name. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Can you get fired for that? Like, is that fireable? I mean, he works for ESPN. He on the jump. You know what I'm saying? I'm just asking. Like, I'm, I'm not saying. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, yeah, I, don't, I, I honestly don't know. You know what's crazy? If he would have said something like, you a fag. You suck dick. <laughs> he'll, probably, he'll probably lose his job. Oh, uh, yeah, no. He's done. He said that. Oh, he'll yeah. lose his job. He's done. He, he, he's done. What he well, said? They're, they're kind of close. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. So Matt right, Barnes right. don't lose his job over saying that? If he said, if he like called him a gay slur and said that, yeah. he'd definitely lose his job. Which is even, which is crazy that right. Pierce <laughs> lost his job and he just had women around. Right? In his own house. In his own house. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was that? I don't know the. Yeah, but go ahead. And I was gonna say maybe they just haven't the higher ups haven't gotten win, but they know everything. Nah, right? yeah, yeah, they, they know. know. <coughs> they so, know. They uh, know, dude. Kwame Brown, that story been going on for. And it's me. buzzing, right? It's buzzing. It's popular right now. Whatever he doing, he doing it well. He's built for it. Like this is like he doesn't look awkward or uncomfortable. He's built. He's yeah, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. He's been going on for years. Going on rent. <laughs> yeah. Kwame. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? This is why, he, you know what I'm saying? He's a odd, you know what I'm saying? He said he got a show. He I'm sure that's not the only offer. He mm -hmm. unleashed the McCrack. I mean, it's 20. Like, he, he don't even crazy. talk. He, he's like, up. when he was in the league, he barely right, talked. Right. Like, he didn't yeah, say I mean, shit. I mean, <clears throat> he kept it real. Yeah, he kept it real, real chill. But now, like, anybody said his name. Like, Jamel, am I saying that? Jamel Hill? Like, mm -hmm. She was like, man, I don't want no smoke from dude. Like, I'm sorry, whatever I said. Cause dude, he, went, he, he got down on too. Yeah, he Damn, got down on her. She did that on She said, uh, you know, people be like, hey, this this person woke up and chose violence today. She said that about him. <laughs> and he, uh, thought he, she, he thought she was trying to say, like, he was a physically violent person. Oh, okay. And he was like, no, these are just words. So <laughs> right. why are you calling me violent? Yeah, yeah. Why, why are you calling me a black man? Why are you calling me violent? And he went in on him. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. And he was talking about like um, how Matt Barnes, like like his his ex Wiz or his BM was like Derek Fisher was oh, like, right, right, knocking right, right. the line out the cot. Yeah, <laughs> how, how he, he, you know what I'm saying? He a sucker for all that. He yeah. a, BA, a BAM, you know what I'm saying? BAM. You know what I'm saying? It's, for doing all that. So I know Derek Fisher like, strikes me as a piece of shit. <laughs> he does. He does. He really does. He's like he's striking as like a like a like like a, 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 a grimy, slimy, right, right, 
Like a nigga with no stash type of vibe. Like, that's how I'm <laughs> <fishing. laughs> Right. A beard, no stash type nigga. Yeah. Steven, Steven Jackson took the humble approach. But he did post something. He was like, yo. Uh, like he said something like, take back what you said. Or some somebody might approach you. Like some people that know me might approach you or something like that. But he deleted it. Mm. And said, nah, we, we we brothers, you know, I'm, I'm going to take the high road. You know, he's Muslim, so. No, oh, okay. He's he taking the high road. But that was after he said, some goons are going to get him. His goons are going to get him. We'll see. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. How do you think this is going to end? It's going to just fly away. It's gonna I don't think Kwame going to go on their pod. Nah, I want him to. I would yeah, love I would like to see that. Cause Cause bad Barnes say, hey, come on the pod. If we got a fight before or after, right, you know, we can do I that. I kind of respect that about yeah, that Because he's like, yo, whatever it is, let's just get it out the way and yeah. then we can be cool, whatever. Down to shoot a fell. I mean, mm. if you think about it, they're part of a special fraternity as being former NBA players. And it's only yeah. a few of them on this like, earth. So, like, they should, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever yeah. they had, you should just squabble and get it done with. So. The story of the playoffs would probably be the Clippers being 0-2. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait a minute! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Is, is is the Clippers being the news or is it LeBron and them being one one? LeBron mm. takes president over everything. I I mean, but, one, one, but I'm saying, but that's a normal series though. Like the home team, they they grab one. You know what I'm saying? They, mm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They snatch Clippers one. Clippers two at home, home, right? The Clippers okay, are we'll, we'll, two. We'll go with this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the goal? What? what, what, what? <laughs> You know we'll go with this. No, no, no. The, the talk of the town is Clippers down 0 2. I mean, the story, in the NBA circles, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LA and Phoenix is a normal series. They won one. They is won. it a normal series? They did. LA did what they had to do. Now, if they would have went down 0 2, it would have been, you know what I'm saying, much hotter than the Clippers. But I'm this saying, is the most shocking 0 2. Right, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Brooklyn is up 2 0. That's not really shocking. Okay. No. Philly is up 2 0. That's 1 8. That's one eight. Mm. Right, right, this is right. four or five. Right. This is the most shocking two. Okay. Up. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, but even still, go ahead. I was, you know what I'm saying, like wondering, like, you know, I was just thinking, like, you know, why is it a, why is it a story though? Like, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, like the expectations that we had out of them is because of Kawhi and and, and PG. And they're you both know what healthy and they both playing. And but if you really th- what what do they really do to to garner such expectations? Like they're still the Clippers. Before oh, they got before PG the and Kawhi got there, they were the Clippers. You know what I'm saying? What if the Clippers? But what if you know what I'm saying? We kind of just like projected them to be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but yeah. then they got then they got you know what I'm saying? Kicked out by by Denver last year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So why are we like really like just blo- you know what I'm saying? Because really we know if they it, if they run it back this time they and should. lose again, it's gonna be over. Right, right, right. That whole more thing. importantly, they blame well not they. But Paul George blamed Doc. Yep, so they got the new too. coach. Mm-hmm. They got they added Rondo. So mm-hmm. like you got what you wanted. Where you said, "Yo, it was the coach." They kind of indirect. Well, Paul George playoff P indirectly blamed uh, Doc. So with mm-hmm. that being said, you got Tyron Lue. So um, right now you can turn that mirror around and look at yourself. Like uh, <laughs> I mean, they should have been doing that. But. Right? Yeah, definitely. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that really, if you really look at the the history of the Clippers, it's just the Clippers being the Clippers. Oh yeah, like, this, yeah, is, yeah, this is yeah. so typical. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm but saying? I don't think they ever had talent like that on this level before. Nah, true. I'm just saying, but if anybody's gonna blow it, with this type of stuff, <laughs> it's gonna be the Clippers organization. Yeah, yeah, like, that's this shit true. is like hilarious to me, bro. Yeah. So what do you think? What is your take? A yeah, small. I mean, and you know what's funny about a small part of me thinks that they, they like um. They still gonna pull it out in seven. A small part of me thinks like uh like like the Clippers, and it's probably once again because it's Kawhi and and, and, and Paul George, it, it, on paper they should just be handling the da- Dallas. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Kawhi had a good game last year. They game. played good. <clears throat> Luka yeah, like forty Luka seven match them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they couldn't. The production. They couldn't get the right switch, the right matchup. I don't know, I think it might be over, man. And four. Sweet. I don't know about four, but so that mean Dallas is gonna lose in game three. Cause there's no way that you go up three zero and then Clippers gonna win game four. That ain't happening. So that means gonna show any fight. Right, they back against the wall three zero. 
Yeah, they not. Show some heart. Most teams, right. if they down 3-0, they just be like, they pack it in. No, no, no. <laughs> Most teams. Most teams. Heart is gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, Clippers in trouble, though. So, we we not going to talk about the obvious? <laughs> about Luka killing them? Yeah. We not going to talk about... Uh, the MVP so far, the playoffs. <laughs> 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 I don't get it. It's an inside joke. What am I missing? What am I missing? I didn't say it. You yes. asked that man. Ask that man. Yo, I ask do. that man. Yo, what, are we doing? what are we doing here? Ask that man, yo. Yeah, you know he wants to talk about Luca. <laughs> what do you want? I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What do you want to talk about Luca? Not me. You I don't. <laughs> yo, I want, I, want, I, want, I want to know. I want to know, you know, your intel, your, your, your thought process. I want to know. No, I'm, I think he's Joe. going on this project. I think he's going on this project. Uh, his project, his his projection, is as planned. Like you know, what I'm saying, you saw he did his rookie season. You know, what I'm saying last year. You know, what I'm saying now it's like, all right, he's showing he's showing progress. He, you know, what I'm saying he's a number one or number two pick for, for a reason, right? He wasn't number two pick. But he tr- traded for Trey at what he point? Was number what? three pick. Three. All right. I mean, he's a top five pick for a reason. <laughs> like he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. <clears throat> Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what my takes are. But no, it looks a dog. But you yeah. earlier you did say you got, you said that in game two we all watched the game and you was like, man, he switch he he switched off so he can so Beverly can guard him and that's LeBron attribute. <laughs> that's one of his attributes. Joe, all NBA players know to do that. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I, I appreciate that one. <laughs> like, Ish Smith know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, any, any creator, I'll say this. Any creator that's in the league knows how to switch off and get a mismatch. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So it's not, you know, that's probably not the most interesting fine, uh, player first round. No. It's probably, what you think? <sighs> Probably it'll be Lakers Phoenix. Right? It probably is either Lakers Phoenix or Knicks Hawks. Most interesting. Most interesting. Oh yeah. Knicks Hawks is giving you uh, back page material. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Old school banter. You get the old, uh, Yeah. They got then, the New York crowd. Yeah. Then no. they go pump in. They the 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 uh, media is going to talk about the New York crowd. Mm-hmm. And got then, the mayor chiming in. Yeah. Going to Trey Young. No. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. So probably that. If I'm trying to think if I'm missing one. Yeah, like Milwaukee, Sun. Miami. I was about to say, that's becoming a boy. Like, uh. Yeah, I don't know. But Zeke said game three that it should be different. I, I kind of agree. I don't think, you know, Miami. Miami I don't think should, Miami gets swept. No, nah, no. Nah, I think heat culture gets them one game, you know. Yeah. Because heat, heat culture is all about getting games. <laughs> Showing grit. Yeah. What you call it? Do you right. still think Boston ain't getting swept? They getting swept. Hey boy, some niggas ain't even on seven yet. They ain't even on. S- they probably playing on the six as a team. Like it might be over for Boston. <laughs> might. Might be over for Boston. You said might. Tatum, Tatum, and Smart could go off. You know. Might. Nah, they don't. Like you Boston really doesn't win another game. Nah. Brad Stevens came came with him to one game. It's not about Brad Stevens. <laughs> he the coach. What you mean? It's about personnel, man. When they, form, they form like Voltron. Brad Stevens is the head. <laughs> but it, what you know? What I'm saying like, you think? What you do think? Jalen Brown would have been good for a win. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if he was there, one. yeah, this is a different series. For one mm-hmm. win. Bro. Yeah. This is a, a sweep. Sweep. Y'all not interested in Utah and Utah and Memphis, I don't think. But, I mean, we basketball purists, so we interested right. in all the games. But the normal fan, I don't think, is intrigued by Utah and Memphis. Did you all have uh, any doubt that Donovan was coming back this series? Or? Yeah, yeah, I know. No, was. Yeah, I figured he'd come back. Shout out to uh, Jordan Clarkson, Sixth Man of the Year. Julius Randle, Most Improved. Those are well-deserved awards. Um, got no qualms. When they announced MVP? Uh, I think like uh, June. I think it's like toward the finals. But yeah, shout out to them for for winning those two awards. They definitely deserve it. I got no. Monty Williams, Coach of the Year, right? 
Yeah, Monty Williams coach of the year. I got no. That's uh, that's the only awards they gave out, right? Yeah, those three. Mm-hmm. No, I'm cool with those. Y'all okay with those? Yeah, no issue. If D Rose would have won it, he would have been shoe in Hall of Fame. But <laughs> anyway, um, Chris Paul's injury. <laughs> This is his third season being injured in the playoffs. Go ahead. Real quick before we move. Um, so you, your criteria, the reason you said D-Rose won't get in is because of not enough points? Yeah, you don't have enough points. Not enough points. 20 is what you said you need. You need... Is that... Even though Payday... I know he's a fan of the show. Payday always points out like there's guys that's under 20. I was just thinking that. I, I, but there are. Guys. But... D-Rose doesn't have enough seasons where he's... Above and beyond. Yeah. Like, he has a lot of mediocre, mediocrity, uh, a little bit above average seasons. Like, in order to be the Hall of Fame, like, he's had, he's playing the league, what, 11 years. He's had maybe four seasons where he's above average. Like, he's extraordinary. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the shit is pretty, mind you, I do like D. Rose. I'm just thinking overall, I mean, you got cast that's not even in there that is well deserving, like Tom Chambers. Yeah. No, he doesn't have an MVP. But, like, his points are there. Um, but D. Rose, he doesn't have enough, like, he doesn't have enough accolades. Like, he got right. the one MVP. He's got, what, two All-NBAs? Mm-hmm. And then that's it. And three All-Stars. And then that's it. Like, was, uh... Penny Hardaway got that accept the MVP. Grant, you know, I'm not going to say Grant Hill. But Penny Hardaway got that accept the MVP. Um, Hell, Antonio McDice might have three All Stars. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's not to shit on Antonio McDice. I'm just saying like Andrew. people would yeah one All Star. Antonio McDice? Yeah. Oh, boom. I'm slipping, y'all. Antonio McDice one All NBA and All Rookie. Antonio McDice. Yeah. Oh, that's a horrible comparison on my part. But and I'll take the I'll take the L on that. But I don't think honestly I don't think D Rose would get in. You said because he hasn't been, hasn't had above average seasons. Enough, above enough, seasons. Ab- extraordinary. I said extraordinary. When you're, Does when Manu you're, Ginobili have extraordinary seasons? He has an overseas. He's connection got an overseas too. connections. Oh, oh, yeah, man. that that kind of dude. Tony Kukoc's making no. the Hall of Fame ain't is not because of him being a bull. It's because of that overseas shit. I do got like two silver medals and I'm trying play. to think which six men are in the Hall of Fame. Ricky Pierce is he? No, I don't think Ricky Pierce is in there. No, it's not like Rose is a six man, but now that's that's probably going to be his role going on in the future. Right. Mm-hmm. As a six man. Because he could honestly he could start, which is crazy. Hell no. Was it was Eddie Johnson a six man? Yes. Nah, he Ricky, won six Ricky man. Pierce not in the Hall. And he was cold as a six man. Two times six man of the year, one time all star. Woo! Two times six man. Mm-hmm. Lou Williams got like three of them, and he not going to the home. Nickname Big Paper Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Williams. Well, Lou Williams. Yeah, that's Lou that's Lou all he got is the yeah. six man. He ain't never been an all star. But that's all, and I know I don't really mean to say that's all he got. But Rose got one MVP and three. He got no titles. One, we well, got two All NBAs. I think so. We going back to the same <laughs> argument that we did last. Lou time. Will fifteen thousand points. He got more than D Rose. You can't get in the hall. No, no. Those are good with Andy Johnson. I mean, fifteen years. I don't. I don't see Lou playing another five years to get to twenty thousand. No, he thought about retiring this year. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Jamal ain't making it either. Nah, no shot. They both three times. That's all Jamal got three times, three times <laughs> six man. Damn. Yeah, you're not just six man. Don't mean. I mean, it's cool, but you know. Jamal got nineteen thousand points though. He's still not going. I'm. I'm kind of. He come back and get him twenty thousand. He in. Ain't no one signing him. He forty one. <laughs> <laughs> he forty. Damn, he is forty one. I thought yeah. you was joking. No, he's 41. <laughs> yeah, he might be done. He a good... Uh, Close to 20K, he ain't getting in? No. Not at all. I want, can we address our uh, people that disagree with us? Like, the D-Rose. Anyone that goes in the comments... No, it don't even have to be D-Rose. It could be... Uh, what, what, what was one of the comments we got where people was like, yo, like, like we wrong or... I don't know. 
No one hates on Luca. I don't hate on Luca. <laughs> I don't hate on Russell Westbrook. I just give you my opinion and my facts. No. You know what I'm saying? And like, no, D Rose is not getting in in the Hall of Fame. Yes, he is. No, he's not. We're gonna go back to his video. <laughs> yeah, we happens. could do that. Luca <laughs> is not the best player in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? He's not even a top five player. Top until, five. No, he's got to get out the first round. He's never <laughs> right. been out the first round. And so when LeBron didn't get out the first round, he wasn't top five. Dude, before LeBron got out, the, got to the playoffs, people was like shitting on him. Y'all don't remember like his first two. When did he go to the finals? His What's the Spurs? Fourth, fourth or fifth year. But oh, okay. his first two years, he didn't even make the final. He didn't make the playoffs. People were like, yo, you supposed to be the chosen one. You're not even getting to the playoffs. Hey, you can't do it by yourself. Hey, I'm just saying. But Luka has to get out the first round for me to even consider him. I think that's going to happen this year. Okay, you're holding. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> get out the first round and then I can go and, you know what I'm saying, like, digest what you've done. Look at it, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, like you made it out the first round. Maybe you could be a top five guy. What do the Clippers have to do this to prevent Luka from getting to the second round? Mm, fucking keep Kawhi on him. Kawhi needs mm. to shadow him. If Kawhi shadows so him... So to play a boxing one on Luka. No, 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 no. <laughs> Kawhi just has to shadow him. If Kawhi shadows him, he'll score 30, but it's going to be like 8 for eight for 25. Like, it's going to be a tough 30. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is what you want. Like... Right now, Kawhi is shooting one leg dirt jumpers from three. Like playing. He'll uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. Just fucking the Clippers. Like, it's fucking Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, he's not doing one... that to Kawhi. He's doing it on Beverly. That he's doing it on Beverly. on Beverly. It's one shot. I'm just saying, like, I mean, he feels that comfortable. In Let me say, but he's, right. he's not, he's not hitting a layup on Kawhi and saying he's too fucking small. No, he ain't talking shit to Kawhi. <laughs> now nah, I will say, let me say this for the record. I'm not saying that Luca is trash. I don't want anyone to say that. I say he's trash. No. I don't even want to think that. I don't think that he could be potentially a top five player. I'm not saying. That. I think I like Luca's game actually. I just don't like when people. Pump him up and, and steroid him <laughs> and make him into a top three player when he hasn't done nothing yet. That's all I'm saying. He's a rookie of the year. Uh, Derrick Rose got rookie of the year. Where is he? Well, that's a fluid list. When I said he was, I felt he was at that time. You know what I'm saying? But it's fluid. You know what I'm saying? The very next year, you know what I'm saying, he was still like great, but he kind of regressed a little. You know what I'm saying? From, from the spice that he had. Spice. The spice that he had from his rookie year. Wait, wait. wait. But he was still. He's regressed from his second year. the bubble to now? I'm not. I'm saying like from his first year. He, he kind of dipped just slightly from his rookie year. No. You know what I'm saying? He Statistically. Like, I'm not saying it was like noticeable, but I'm saying yeah. like it was almost like the league figured him out. And he still was getting numbers. You no, know what I'm saying? His second year was better than his first year. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Like, That's what I'm here for, Joe. That's <laughs> what I'm here to tell you. He was better his second well, year than his first year. Well, I'm just saying like... He's improved statistically... His first three years, he's gotten better each year statistically. Well, I'm saying the list is fluid. I said he was the best. He was the top five his rookie year from what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? He was top five rookie year? Remember, that's when we had the... You had him top five as a rookie? Remember, that's when we were talking. That's when he was in the playoffs. No, I thought that was a bubble. The bubble. That wasn't in the bubble, was it? Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I got my shit twisted. That was bubble. Yeah. That was last year. Oh, okay. Man, well, (laughs) there was no dip off. Even more so, he was a top five player. But it's fluid in that, like, there's players that weren't in the NBA then that are now. I like KD. That bumps him down a spot <laughs> immediately. Mm-hmm. But you KD, as as you know, the list is fluid. No, uh, no. Let me say this: KD is who he is. So like, you actually had KD not in your top five. Like even with a with <laughs> a Achilles. Even with the Achilles, I still had KD in my top five. Like I don't give a fuck what he had, unless he got one leg. I didn't. I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, it, like it was the the my, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? My, you know what I'm saying? The reason I made that statement is as far as him being the top five is based on the actual stats, uh, the actual facts right now. Who's playing? You know what I'm saying? Who's in the playoffs? Like you know what I'm saying? Who's doing what right mm-hmm. now? You know what I'm saying? That's changed this year. You know what I'm saying? Like. So it, top five last year in the bubble, if we can go back, you had A D LeBron, you had Greek Freak, we can all agree on those three, right? Mm-hmm. And then probably four would be Joel and Bead and then like Ben Simmons. I think Kawhi was in there. And then you had Kawhi and you still had him above them five dudes. 
At that time, last year, yeah. Yeah, TJ you know what Warren. Saying? That's when he took. Five. He took. That's when he took the Clippers to top seven. I mean, top seven. He uh, didn't get the first the Clippers round. to the seven to the seven. It was, a, but it was a hell of a series. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a dog fight. So, I mean, like I say, that's the reason I made the statement at the time. So, even though Devin Booker and them went eight zero in the bubble, and they you ain't shot them <laughs> up at all. He wasn't putting up Luca numbers. He was putting up numbers. Yeah, not like Luca. You know what? What's going to happen is, and I'm looking at the camera, <laughs> when Dallas becomes the number one seed mm-hmm. and they put up numbers, you are going to clamor for this dude to be an MVP. <laughs> but when Devin Booker is a number one seed or, or Donovan Mitchell, I'm talking about I you never... Just being in general. I'm talking about you and in general. No, that's not true. <laughs> you, you didn't say nothing about Donovan this year. No, I'm saying I go with the stats. I don't go off emotion. I don't, you know what I'm saying, make judges. <laughs> so Donovan and, and Booker like didn't put guy. up stats. I'm saying that they did, obviously, but mm-hmm. and then you had a you had a you had a solid gripe. You had a you know what I'm saying with them not getting the shine today. Yeah, I just wanted them to get shine. That's all. You know but I, mean? I never heard. But when Luca becomes a number one seed, you're going to hear a lot of Luca talking. I'm not going to. Definitely agree with will. That. But I'm not going to agree with that because Donovan is the number one seed and he put up numbers and he got injured the last five, six game, well, ten games of the season. But he had enough work in order to get MVP. He wasn't even top three. He wasn't even top three. But when Luca does it, I guarantee you people are going to have him top three. Who's top three for MVP? MB, Joker, MB, and... MB, Joker, and uh, Steph. Niggas is not Steph. even... They a, Steph in. Niggas not even number one seed. Like, Joker not a number one seed. And Steph didn't even make the playoffs, technically. Right. But when Donovan Mitchell or Booker do it, y'all not going to say a lot of A lot of uh, market size goes into that. You know what I'm saying? Market, no. It doesn't you know matter market. Games come on late. Well, no, nah, don't matter. If they come on. It don't matter you know about that. This it is does. When it comes to voting, exposure is major. Not on voting, is, it doesn't matter about uh, about market size because Carl Malone won an MVP in Utah, and that's hard to do. But what I'm saying, like, we're talking general was, sentiment. Was Vote Jordan like team. You know what I'm saying? It's Jordan for team. <laughs> it's Tyler Vogel. Oh, a lot of those MVPs yeah. given to anyone other than Jordan was Jordan but for we, team. But people always put precedent on, like, how you do in a season. Fucking Booker in them was, like, arguably the number one, number two seed in the NBA, in the entire NBA. And no one mentioned him. Now, no, fine. If you, don't, if you don't want to put Booker as a top five or a top three, fine. But what I do know is going to happen is when fucking Dallas is the number one seed, I'm going to hear people put Luka as number one. And I'm going to be annoyed like, yo, Booker did the same shit, put up numbers, was a number one, number two pick, n- number two seed, I'm sorry. And they're still going to give Luka the benefit. And I'm like, oh yeah, Luka, he's, he's a future MVP. Y'all going to give him love. Why? And Booker puts up numbers. Well, out of me, Booker is a be better scorer than Luka. Only if it's warranted out of me. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the general sentiment, like I say, I agree because I, I think it's you don't about market size. It's about who the NBA it's pushes. It's about who the you know, NBA has on their, well, on their I don't, bumpers. From, I don't, from, I don't, from the I don't want, community. that's the thing. I don't want you and Zeke to go by what other people, by the market size on that shit. Because we're basketball purists. Right, at least yeah. I am. That's I what I'm saying. I, for me, it won't Dallas be. Dallas is a small market team, right? And then medium. Paul. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying for me it won't I won't be heaping if I'm heaping praise it's because it's warranted. You know what I'm saying? If I if it's if I pull if like I said, if I pull So praise, Luca put the same numbers up right now and he was a number one seed, you would have him in your top three. <laughs> if he was if he was a number one seed yes. and putting up these numbers You were putting them in your in your MVP. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on what everybody else Nigga, get right. the fuck out of here, man. It depends on whatever I'm proving my point, man. No, Come that on. depends on whatever you want. They could be so whatever the better season. You know what I'm okay, so Russell averaged a triple double, and he had struggled to get in the play in. And he's he a number seven seed. He's a number seven seed. What are you saying? He's a number seven seed, but right. Luca is a number one seed. Who are you gonna say is the MVP? <laughs> I'm definitely going Luca <laughs> <Yes>. because <laughs> he's a what? <laughs> because he's, he's a number it. one seed. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying yeah because. So why didn't you show it. love to Donovan and Booker? Because. They're just not as exciting. <laughs> well, Luke, thank you. Thank you. Not, thank, thank you. I'm sorry. They're just not. <laughs> they're boring. It's Utah. I proved my point. I proved my point. It's Utah. Yeah, yeah. I proved my point. Thank you. Because he's, he's a European. No, that has nothing to do with it. Okay. You're talking to me. Oh, you, are you being. Uh, I'm no, just saying. Like, he's more exciting 
Then the book is not excited. Donovan Mitchell's not excited. As as half wise Donovan is. Wow. No, he's. You know what I'm saying? If if think if he was on New York, if if Donovan Mitchell was on New York, Lucas that nigga would be going lost. Or more exaggerative, he's more. You know what I'm saying? He's just some. And if Donovan Mitchell was on the Knicks, he would be D Wade Junior. I no, agree, man. I agree. That's because of the wait, market. Wait, New York. Wait till Utah. Wait till yeah, Luca. Yeah. Wait till Luca brings his team to number one seed. I'm gonna hate it, and I'm gonna bring <laughs> this up. Like nigga, this nigga had to be a number one seed, and y'all gonna be slurping him. Like, oh my god, Luca's the MVP because he's a number one seed. Question: but, Can they? How can they do that? Be a number one seed? They need somebody else. Can they do? Yeah, because yeah, because uh, this sidekick, uh, Porzingis, the unicorn, is yeah. not gonna be healthy enough. I'm, I'm I'm worried about that guy. Yeah, so but we need but, another Dallas get another good guy, another all star. They can do, be number one, dude. But like Utah, because I don't see them getting the number one unless they get somebody. Else. Yeah, they gotta get somebody else. But it don't even have to be that. Luca be in the top three. <laughs> he could be in the top three seed for the West. Motherfuckers gonna be like Luca MVP. I'm gonna be like Booker puts up just as good numbers as Luca, and he ain't going like I'll put it this way. Luca Booker may not put up the same numbers as Luca, but Booker is just as much as a star as Luca. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he's he's boring. Like he just he just hoops. That's major. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't right, but it's major though. So so um, Joker. He's 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 exciting. <laughs> and he's about to win the MVP. He's tall, he plays like a guard. Yeah, that's exciting. He's a big he's goofy. Fuck, yeah, I like, but for some reason I like watching the play. Bro. One, one you like watching one. Joker play? Yes. You, you see some of the, the bullshit that he hits, but it's not bullshit for him because he actually he's is got skilled. A lot of passion. He, 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 oh yeah, yeah, he yeah. Hey, he's feisty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so is Lucas. So is Lucas. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, what I'm saying when it comes to the general sentiment, that shit counts. It's not just basketball. I'm not saying it's right. Like I said, you're a purist. That's gonna bother you. But I'm saying to the general, for the general public, like no, the purist that the, votes, the ESPN as in their face counts. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that part counts. But the purist votes, like people that yeah, that report. really watch basketball, they're gonna vote. And you talk about J Cole. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> one of, one of his uh, uh, associate mates. Basketball association mates. I don't know if it was his teammate who was saying like he he don't like what Cole is doing. For real. Yeah. He yeah. Like, he said he's like, yo, I have forty. Yeah. Ain't nobody paying attention to me. <laughs> yeah. But this dude, he, he he ain't taking the game seriously. He getting all the all the pub, man. Dude is a fool. Whoever he is, <laughs> niggas wouldn't even know about your league if it wasn't for Cole. Yeah. He bringing he bringing eyes to the league. I never heard his league. Well, no, I think it's the first year for it, though. Oh, right? for real? I think it is. Still, yeah. nobody would have known about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a goal. Mm-hmm. I'm on the fence about it. Hmm. There's one side of me that says, yo. Oh, he, he ended his career. He done? Yeah, he's done. The dude or Cole? Cole. Oh, okay. Cole done? Mm-hmm. Wow. I see. Uh, so he actually. He completed his contra- contractual yeah, that was obligation. Yeah, thing. And departed because of a family obligation. <laughs> Man, they were they Played opened three games. League. He did three games this time. Mm-hmm. They opened the Now league. I'm upset at Cole. I got I got that the quote. I got the quote from the guy, uh, Terrell Stoglin. I think there's a negative and a positive to Cole's presence. The negative part of it is, I think he took someone's job that deserves it. I live in a basketball world. I don't live in a fan world. I know a lot of guys that had their career stopped by COVID, and they're still home working out and training for an opportunity like this. For a guy who has so much money and has another career to just come here and average like one point a game and still get glorified is very disrespectful to the game. I hate you. It's disrespectful to the, to the ones who sacrificed their whole lives for this. The positive side of it is it brings a lot of attention and, I guess, money. I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. I'm more concerned that he took someone's job and deserved it. (laughs) (laughs) Therein lies the problem. At the the end, he he, he, uh, informed himself what the real deal was. Like that was clearly some type of marketing thing with the with the with the league. 
Although J. Cole is a peculiar, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back he actually trained for this, though. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, so he is actually, because he, uh, what happened? He hurt his foot a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was rehabbing, and he's actually, like, went back and started hooping, you know, to prepare for the album and all that. You know, to prepare for the album, he's like, y'all want to go back to what what I was doing years ago when I was hungry, and which was hooping. Right. So he went back to hooping. <laughs> when I was hungry. Yeah, that's how, he went, that's how he approached the album, but then he just kept training, kept training. So now I'm thinking that whole, um, that whole dunk contest thing might have been tied up in this, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, from a publicity, like, put some shine on Cole. Put him Cole in the basketball was, world. But we already knew he could hoop. Yeah, yeah. Like, Cole, we, he, he, we already yeah. dunked a celebrity. Yeah, we, that's yeah. what I mean. I'm but talking about that. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the slam dunk. Yeah, when he was... No, I'm, we no, got I'm the ball and he almost dunk. did the mellow, but he <clears> went up there and dunked and missed. Right. I'm saying, like, that all strikes me as, as contrived. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? This this, this was uh, organized. You know what I'm saying? Like, could be. This is a conspiracy theory. I'm just saying, it sounds... You know what I'm saying? You bring shine to Cole, now Cole brings shine to, you know what I'm saying? Bring shine to African. To this new league, league, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't watch that shit. Though. I Me didn't either. watch it when he was. Yeah, I, well, I caught the highlights. Yeah. But I do think if he was out there averaging 15 a game, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he wouldn't have left for a family out no. right, of right. was trash. He was trash out there. <laughs> I mean, like. People don't realize, and we always talk about it, and Isaiah always make fun or thinks that he could score on campaign or something. I can't. But, like, dude, even even in that league, you would not average five points. In I that think league. I could do what Cole did. No. Like, I could, I could do get a tip in two. on a fast break with nobody around me. You <laughs> and, wouldn't even have to. And hit a technical free throw. I can do that. You wouldn't even have the stamina to do that. Cole didn't have the stamina either. <laughs> he didn't? He wasn't averaging no 30 minutes. I mean, Part of me thinks of it is like no no one should like negate a man's dream. Like if he wants right. to play professional, yeah. like that, let him do that's it. That's where Rick Ross chimed in. Oh, that's what he said. Yeah. But like that's a that's one thought I have of it. Like yo, if that's your dream, that's what you want to do. Go for it. You willing to work for it? Yeah, if you willing to work for it. Now, now that you said this, now I don't agree with Cole quitting, saying yo family man, like keep going. Like fuck it, fuck all the the naysayers. Just mm. keep going. Keep mm. like you playing three games makes me now think that we're playing this season. Right. But if you would have did the whole league, got some D the whole season, got some DMP CDs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm cool with that. You really wanted. You yeah, really yeah, wanted, yeah, yeah, but yeah, now yeah. you just play it three. It does look funny now. Yeah, you play three games, pub your album, and then that's it. Like no, nah, I don't like that. Right. Like go through it. Get crossed over, you know what I'm saying? Like sit on the pine, you know. But yeah, he ain't do none of that. Yeah, no, that part I don't like. <clears throat> More they use him like you know, man, yeah, nah. I was about to say they could be, you know, what I'm saying he played the stoolie for this league. You know, you know what I'm saying they use him as publicity. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And he did it. He he sold his soul and did it. He knew he had an album coming out. You know, what I'm saying? was it about his album or was it about? I mean, it goes hand in hand. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking that. Kind of a hand in hand thing. His, al his okay. albums have always been kind of sports based, though, anyway. Yeah. Friday Night Lights. Yeah. So. yeah. Right. so, who's at fault? Is it them or them using him to put him on? Like, I don't like how Cole played three games and now he got a family matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least see it through. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you want to play professional, I'm cool with it. But at least go through the season. But now you 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 done. Right. He quit. Yeah, he quit. He quit. Boy, boy. So now yeah. it makes it seem like it was mm -hmm. all about the album, which I don't agree with. Now it I probably thought, wasn't though, but now it looks like that. Yeah, yeah. the optics. I kind of agree with dude. Now. Like, dude, like you can't <laughs> play around like that. But well, everybody's taking somebody's roster spot. Agreed, but he definitely shouldn't have taken someone's roster spot. He. He trashed. No, he was, someone didn't get a spot and he, he quit. He ain't even on the exactly. team. Yeah, he, I mean, yes, you're right. It, it does happen across America all the time. Oh, across the globe on all teams, but you know. What do you think about what do you think about the album? Did you check it? Like as a You're no, not the biggest Cole fan. No, you're not the biggest Cole fan either. I'm well, just putting that right. I, no, I, I agree. No, no, I think uh the album it was it was cool. I mean, it was cool. I mean, Zeke probably has that as a classic. But, you know, no, I'm not a classic. It's solid, though. I like it. I yeah. fucks with it. Tough. Yeah. 
So you guys a classic? It's not a classic, but shit, like, cause like I, I say, I'm going back and listening more. to it. Huh? Yeah, I've been. I've been going back listening to it. Only thing I've been listening to was Cold and Black. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I was, I'm totally on board with you. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> you know, Cold got bars. You know he can yeah. rap. He can make songs. You know what I'm saying? But it's something just didn't resonate with me. Like I'm like, yo, this shit is cold. He's going crazy. But I want to turn. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> this is choice. Of this things. album, psh, nah, he blacked out. Yeah. This album is in heavy roll. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm truly impressed. Like, I right, like I fuck with this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Nah, I, I fucks with it. I I definitely reached out to y'all. I was like, yo, this because like, I'm not the biggest Cole fan. I do know that Cole has bars. Like, I don't want people to trash me and say, oh, oh my god. No, I know Cole is. He can rhyme and he's spitter, but he just don't know how to pick beats. But on this album, he decent. It's like he has something to prove on this album. What do you got to prove? That's what I'm, I'm saying. Imagine, it just I sounded mean, like he he doesn't like you know what I'm saying. Multi platinum. You know I'm saying I definitely agree. He's like the top five artists of this generation. It's not hard, but you know what I'm saying. Mm. He probably is he he probably might be in y'all top fifty of all time. Come on, man! Don't disrespect Cole like that. You can't think of fifty rappers better than Cole, man. Joe, Joe. I would have to really, I would Joe have to really, really, really yeah. like think, like you know what I'm saying. I don't need, like you said, I don't want to disrespect Cole like that. But Cole at the same top, time, Cole is top fifty, man. I still have to put yeah. thought into it. Like it's a lot of rappers, like you know what I'm saying. You can't think of fifty better than Cole. I would have to think, I, I, not on the spot, but you can take it however long you want. <laughs> you be by the time you get to thirty four, you be reaching. 40 years of hip hop and you reaching after 30, 40? Hmm. Before a guy, you did it, that's why music is so like subjective. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because now you're asking me to put a guy that I really haven't been feeling up until this <laughs> album in my top 50. How many albums but, you got? Five? I have another Four, album. Five, five, including the mixtape, it's five or six? Yeah, about five. Five mm-hmm. deep. I think you got one. I think this is fourth studio album. Then he got yeah. Friday Night Lights. Yeah, that That's pretty much an album. I think it's five. How many classes he got, in your opinion? I think probably just one. The uh, Forest Hill Drive joint. Oh, I think he do get five studio albums. He dropped that uh, For Your Eyes Only, which was trash. <laughs> I didn't like that. Was that before KOD or after? That KOD was, was the last one, right? After that was before, before KOD. Okay. He dropped that and he disappeared and he dropped KOD. I really didn't KOD. like KOD. You didn't like KOD? I mean, it was cold, it, but I don't even like because it was like he was digging into the the relevant style, like with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, really like that down. anyway. But he he was snapping. He was cold, like he was like we said, like I said, you know what I'm saying? I I realized the nigga nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> I just can't call you. Know, you don't resonate with me, man. Y'all yeah, fucking with Roy with a Roy and Maul podcast? I would definitely listen to that, yes. I, I listen to the first few to see if it get hold me, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it might be trash. It could be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was let me ask y'all this, was the was it the YouTube or whatever special they have to basically air out what happened between them? Mm-hmm. Is it justifiable? Y'all cool with it? Yeah, or, I like that. You like that? You mean that, the, that's what Maul said. The, 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 like coming out and saying like what, why X, Y, Z happened between them and Joe and. You mean the actual event, the actual yeah, pod. the actual pod. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't look. They didn't look like some years. sour pusses. They didn't. No, look like, no, okay. they cleared. They it came off. Cleared. They was clearing the air. Like, yeah. Okay. That's what Maul said. The fans was owed an explanation because they've been riding with the show for how right. many years. So Joe Budden is he's gonna just keep going, huh? I see weakness. I see a slight, the throne, it's a slightly weak, man. We can move in, man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never thought Joe's podcast would last, you know, 10, 20 years anyway. Because of the personality? Yeah, I don't think he would want to. I'm surprised it lasted this long, honestly. But now that Rory and Maul is gone, I give him another... Two years, maybe. You don't think Ice and uh, what you call a better? I, what's the other dude? Ice and Ish. Ish, right? 
Ice and ish. They kind of, when they first got on, they would, because they was just, Ice is pretty much, he going to say whatever the fuck he want. But now, the more I'm listening to it, they kind of, they getting in pod mode. Like, okay. they kind of censoring themselves. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, I, I don't know, man. Then, them, them two cats got regular jobs. I don't see them being around to do the pod so another, just, another just, year. So, he'll just replace them with more. With who are we going to replace them with? Well, he can't go to the women because you know, no, he yeah. got a sexual <laughs> if, if sexual something happened, assault. If something happened with, <laughs> some, <laughs> if something happened with Ice and Ish and he, can go he to, kicked them off. He can't go to uh, is, Olivia is, Dope. Nah, he it's, can't it's hold his be, own show like Joe he, Rogan. Nah, Joe's entertaining. He's he enjoying that. In, in he had to have a. He had to bring more guests in. Yeah. If okay. it was just him by himself, he had to turn into a guest podcast, which which they never wanted to do in the beginning. Is mm-hmm. his credibility with notables like people in the industry? Is it sour? I think he's rubbed some. I think he's rubbed. I think he rubbed some people. Yeah, a few, but I mean he. He called the, the pod today. He called the boy Banks. He cool with a lot of oh, people. Oh yeah, true that, true that. He, the he people does. he had beef with, he's cool with now. Right, like he, on wax. He even cool with Ransom. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a shock. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. um, yeah, I see. I, like I say, um, you not gonna address the Olivia Olivia dope shit. He, on the same week, same. <laughs> I wanna fuck you. Then he's been in two weeks. <laughs> he told her face to face. That's how you know you big time. Like you know, right. like you you getting up there. Like, you had to be told that was a mistake. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you can't say that shit. Like, dude, man. Dude, she the, felt uncomfortable for three months. They this, defended him though. They gyrated his hips. That's, that's, how, that's how Joe X. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's just me being me. But that's how you know you getting big time. Like you can say some shit like that, and like it's not even cringeworthy. Yeah. What I do like about Joe is he's not afraid to take risks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, I mean, that, not with that. That's not, oh, not like that. That's a no parachute no, 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 no. risk. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, leaving Spotify. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that did come in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, leaving Spotify. But what I will say is, like, uh, I don't know about this Patreon thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the Joe Bunch show, but I'm, I don't know if I want to pay or subscribe to see his content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and but you know say he's taking a risk, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, for creators, you know what I'm saying, to get paid for the you know saying you know what I'm saying with YouTube I'm sure isn't paying what the Patreon deal is, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean I I, I you know what I'm saying, I salute his hustle, you know what I'm saying, but I don't see how that you know what I'm saying, I don't know if he got that much you know what I'm saying. That's can't stay with his fan. He 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 definitely took some L's the past month. Mm-hmm. For real, like uh like, dude, she was going through it. She said for three months she held it in. Like, I don't know if I should quit. And then she finally quit. And she was like, during if you look at the, if you look at the pod, like, she was saying people were nervously <laughs> laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was due to joy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that was kind of, <laughs> like, dude, that's how you know you're getting kind of beside yourself when you don't know what's appropriate and what's not. Like, mm. That's Joe being Joe, like yo, like you getting. But time heals all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, He's two good. Two months from now, this shit gonna be under the rug. How many? How many what? <laughs> like two months from now, this. Gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. He'll be good. He'll be good. Did she file charges? No, I don't, I don't, so. I don't think so. I don't think she's just gonna. She don't file charges. I don't, even if she did, she's gonna go away. Yeah, she's gonna go away. What's the dude, Kevin Samuels? Mm-hmm. That, that episode of that last summer check is at three point four mil. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen no Joe Pye. The Joe Pye hit... I saw it hit one point. So yeah, they hit, they was hitting millions. Yeah. yeah. But that boy is at 3.4. So, I mean, yeah. he's like... Kevin Samuels you know got, got his coat following, too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? You like your father would do? Yes, he all right. You're a funny star, nigga, though. I don't say what... I could definitely say what he's saying. <clears throat> right. Oh, there's a lot of shock value in it. Yeah. But you're fat. Right. <laughs> he, he definitely speak the truth. Right. <clears throat> he say what's on his mind. Yo, once again, man. Um, another fly show, sports life and hip hop. As usual, you got the usual crew. Uh, before before we do that, shout out to all the podcast listeners, the Spotify's, the Deezers, the Apple Podcasts. 
and wherever else you listen to your podcasts, including YouTube. Um, as usual, you got the usual crew. Got my man Zeke, the one and only Ricky Sweet, and I'm Channel Seven. Peace. That's right. I gotta take them off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through, better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.